guys, it is Bronson here, and today I'm doing a little bit different type of recording, as this game is not for the PC. Uh, this game is called Dead Runner. It is on iOS platform, so that's pretty different from what we've been doing. Um, but today I just want to talk about this game and iOS gaming in general. So, pretty much, this game is one of my favorite iPhone games of all time. It's pretty much kind of, it's like Cube Runner in a 3D type environment where you just kind of tilt and go through trees, and then you can hit the bushes to slow down. Um, now, I personally am a huge fan of iOS gaming. Uh, I find it great that developers can get out in the market, easy for indie developers, um, and then there are also games such as uh, game developers such as EA, um, GameLoft, uh, 2K Games, just huge developers like that, like Square Enix, for instance. Uh, they publish on iOS too, and that so that's pretty cool. Now, what I want to focus on in this video is how iOS gaming is different than PC gaming. I mean, it's obviously different in the sense that it is um, mobile and a such much smaller screen, but I want to talk about how it can benefit you for playing games. Well, not really benefit, but how it can be enjoyable. So if you take, for instance, a simple game such as, I'll go with the most popular uh, right now, would be Temple Run, I guess. And so if you take a game like that, that's a very simple game where all you do is Swipe and tilt. Now, people like that game because it's addicting. And what makes it addicting? Uh, the pick up and play aspect. That's what I think it is. So you can just pick up your iPhone, play a quick game. If you do well, then it could take 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever. If you do poorly, it could take 30 seconds. But what exactly makes that so much fun? And I th what I've come in conclusion, I believe, is the fact that there's a scoring system. And if it's a popular game, your friends play the game. Or if it's not a popular game, you can tell your friends about it, and they can start playing the game. And you can try and beat your friends' scores, and you can beat your scores, and you can beat people that you don't even know scores, thanks to Game Center. Now, I love that concept. I think that's awesome. But then... You go with the, I'll say, console quality games, such as, um, let's see, the Game Loft games, or games from Crescent Moon games. Um, so, we'll say, we'll say the uh, Modern Combat series from Game Loft. What makes that addicting? People, or why would you want to go and play an FPS on your phone or on your iPad on iOS rather than playing it a, a good a better FPS on your computer or on Xbox or on PS3. Now what I think it is is the fact that it's touchscreen, it's mobile so you can play it wherever you want and it's smaller. Meaning not meaning not screen size smaller, but meaning gameplay story-wise smaller. Now the Modern Combat series is lacking in story. But the gameplay ha has some good gameplay for iOS, such as the multiplayer is pretty interesting, and um, I know a lot of people enjoy it, because I'm big into the iOS gaming scene. And personally, I don't enjoy huge games such as that, because I find that if I want to play a game that takes 30 minutes to complete a level or more, I'll play a game such as, um, what, I don't know, something on, uh, like, maybe Call of Duty or Far Cry or something on my computer, rather than playing something like iOS Call of Duty being Modern Combat. So, with that, I do enjoy iOS gaming. It's one of my favorite platforms for gaming besides obviously PC and then 
over the PC would be the SNES because the SNES is the greatest thing of all time. Um, but yeah. So let me know what you think and uh, get, put, put your two cents in. Let me know if you play iOS games and what games you play and why you always find yourself going back to them. This game, for instance, has it was released in, I think, 2010, and I still haven't stopped coming back to it. It's not supported on iPhone 5 screen dimensions, but there is a Cydia tweak in um, Cydia, obviously. It's in the Big Boss repo, I believe, and it's called Full Force. I'll uh, put that in the description. I'll also put a link to this game in the description if you think it's fun or if it looks fun. And like I said, this is one of my favorite iOS games and has been since 2010, and it hasn't come off my phone since then. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video, and uh, let me know if you want to hear more discussions like this. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.